Well, friends, so far this series has taken us to Japan, Switzerland, and Thailand, and we said that you get to decide where we go next. The most popular request by far was India. So let's take a digital tour of the great subcontinent. How to summarize such a diverse country? India is one country, but many, many places. Across its 3.3 million square kilometers, there are vast deserts, glaciers, and tropical forests where camels, snow leopards, and Bengal tigers live. But the area is defined by its 1.3 billion people and the 65,000 years of human habitation. Today, India has 21 official languages and more than 1,600 dialects. India is the birthplace of Hinduism and Buddhism, and it has large populations of Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, and Jains. These linguistic, religious, and ethnic groups have shaped the history of India, which was already complicated enough before the British, Dutch, Danish, Portuguese, and French empires moved in. Today, India is a major player in political and economic world affairs, and it contains some of the richest and poorest people, some of the most developed cities and most unchanged villages, the most polluted and most pristine environments anywhere in the world. Taken together, there is endless potential for video games of any setting you can imagine, so if you can't travel to India for yourself, let's see which video games can give you a taste of incredible India. You'll find links to all of these games in the description. And if you like this series of videos, or you would like reviews of every free weekly game from the Epic Game Store, then make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. First, we should explain some games that are not on our list. Mumbai Goalies is being marketed as GTA set in Mumbai. It's being developed on Unreal Engine 5, so it's probably going to be the most visually stunning portrayal of an Indian city so far, but it has hasn't been released, so we can't call it one of the best games yet. The same goes for Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is set in a fictional futuristic city that is clearly heavily inspired by Indian architecture and mythology. But it's been in development for 10 years and doesn't have a release date yet, so who knows what the final result will be. And finally, let's talk about Far Cry 4. Yes, I hear you, Nepalese listeners, we know that Ubisoft has been clear that the setting is inspired by Nepal. And yes, I hear you, Indian listeners, we know that the NPCs actually speak Hindi in the game, not Nepalese. So while the gorgeous mountain peaks of the Himalayas could be either Nepal or India, the game is officially set in the fictional country of Kirat. So let's start with some games that have chapters in India, and we'll end with games that are set completely in India. Number one, let's start with one of the most famous game series of all time, in Tomb Raider 3 from 1998. Yes, kids, there were video games back then. Lara Croft travels around the world to gather the powerful pieces of an ancient meteorite. We've seen Laura in this series already, jumping around Thai Buddhist temples, and this time we find Laura in a Hindu temple. There are a few more pixels, a few more pettable monkeys, but just as many tigers that you can shoot right in their fuzzy faces. Oh, and of course, a cobra the size of Laura herself. Number two, in another one of the most famous game series of all time, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the characters have to flee to a safe house in Himachal Pradesh in Himalayan India. Unsurprisingly, the safe house is not very safe, and you don't get much time to enjoy the prayer flags, mountain views, and charming shops before you have to spray everything with an insane amount of lead. Maybe you can come back on vacation. Number three, let's throw any idea of an accurate portrayal of India out the window and consider Dal Seem in Street Fighter VI, who is a yogi, a Hindu holy man who spends so much time in meditation that they transcend their physical bodies and perform superhuman feats like levitation. Dal Seem clearly doesn't agree with the non-violent beliefs of most yogis, but even if he is a little over the top, the temple setting complete with candles and bejeweled elephants certainly is a beautiful place for a fight. Number 4. Empire Total War from 2009 is a classic RTS game. The Maratha Confederacy campaign places you in southern India in the 18th century. You control the Maratha, a rising Hindu empire, in a war to overthrow the Muslim Mughals out of the subcontinent. If you've ever wanted to command a troop of war elephants in battle, here is your chance. Number 5. Age of Empires 3 from 2005 is an even more classic RTS. The Indian campaign places you in northern India in 1857 in the shoes of Subadar Nanib Sahir, a real historical figure who first fought for the British in one of the famous Sepoy regiments, then had a change of heart and launched the Sepoy rebellion against the British. This campaign even contains stealth missions to free the Shah in his bid to become the emperor of all of India. Number 6. 
Welcome to India, Agent 47. Hitman 2 from 2018 takes you to the slums of Mumbai to assassinate Wazir Kale and two of his associates. Set in the shadows of luxury skyscrapers, the Dharavi slums are home to nearly one million people, and the game developers traveled to Mumbai so that they could capture every detail of the narrow streets, colorful buildings, and crowded markets. Don't worry, Agent 47, you blend right in. All right, let's move on to games that are set completely in India. Number seven, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time from 2003 technically starts in Persia, but the vast majority of the game takes place in India, while the prince and his father are visiting the Sultan of Azad. During the visit, your vizier tricks you into releasing the sands of time that turns almost everyone into sand monsters. While trying to correct your mistake, you'll spend most of your time in fast-paced combat, but you might have a few moments to admire the Indian palace architecture, gaze at the landscape through the stone jali fretwork windows that are typical of the state of Rajasthan, hey that's me by the way, and maybe even fall in love. If you ever wanted to seduce an Indian princess, or rather be seduced by one, this is the game for you. Number 8. Now here's a game that's all about India. Raji, an ancient epic, was developed by Indian developer Nodding Head Games in 2020. You play Raji, an orphan circus performer whose only brother is taken by demons. Thus begins a fast-paced, combat-heavy, Indian-themed, souls-light adventure through Indian mythology, guided by the Lord Vishnu himself towards a final confrontation with the demigod Naga. While the combat was given average scores by critics, the visuals will definitely transport you to the spiritual plane of the subcontinent. Number 9, Assassin's Creed Chronicles India is part of the Chronicle trilogy of the 2.5D Assassin's Creed games. Set in the 19th century during the Sikh Empire, in the midst of a conflict with the East India Trading Company during the Anglo-Sikh Wars, you play Arbaz Mir, an Indian assassin whose true love has been taken away from him by the Templars. It's a story as old as time, in a land as old as time, and it just leaves us with one question. Now that Ubisoft has confirmed development of Project Red, a full Assassin's Creed game in the much-requested location of feudal Japan, when will India get an open-world Assassin's Creed game? Tell us in the comments if you can't wait to parkour your way to the top of the Taj Mahal. Number 10. Well, if you're looking for an open-world game set in India, consider the final entry on our list, and probably the most beautiful of all, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Released by Naughty Dog in 2017 for the PlayStation, and for PC as part of the Uncharted collection in 2022. You play Chloe Fraser, a treasure hunter looking for the legendary Tusk of Ganesh, the son of Hindu god Shiva. This quest takes you to Kerala in southern India, although it starts in a remarkably detailed war-torn city that might be Madurai in Tamil Nadu. But soon you'll be out in the vast wilderness of the Western Ghats, exploring stunning ruins of the Hoysala Empire, which ruled much of southern India for over 400 years. While this game is all about gunfights, parkour, and treasure hunting, Indian landscapes and history steal the show. If you want to explore ancient temples while learning about one of India's many lost empires, then look no further than Uncharted Lost Legacies. Let us know if we missed any games set in India, tell us which ones you've played from this list, and we'd love to know which video game series you would most like to see set a full game in India. Which country or city do you think we should visit next? We'll see you there!